Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Are you ready? Get ready, no. Like rocket fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thirty thousand in the pocket, no change. Okay. I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay. All my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay. So when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gon' want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros. euros. Left pocket got pow, pow. Somebody gon' want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown. Step back, let me get some room. Congrats every time I'm through. Say packing nobody new. So I never get confused. Hotel get a bird's eye view. Hotel get a waiting room. Read a magazine while you wait for me. Baby, y'all be gone so soon. soon. Phone gotta be off each store. Got locks, I got some trusted shoes. Okay. 10K on the countertop, don't look so shocked. It's nothing new. Okay. Death comes in threes. Three. Wins come in twos. Two. Cash comes in ones. One. Throw it up, celebrate some news. Aye. I do a good job, pull up and pop out and pull off. True. Hat on and hood on, pedal to metal, when I put my foot on, I got to put on, I got a bad one, they wanna keep me, oh that's a good one. Pockets are dense, I think my bread is hard as a crew, receipts in my pocket, don't come with a coupon. Aye, yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros, euros. left pocket got pounds. Somebody gon' want revenge, somebody might win it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left, touchdown. Touchdown, A floor, come down, hotel, lobby. All right, Coach. Well, Autumn starting to give way to the first hints of winter as we are at a chilly MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. 
The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Arizona Cardinals and the New York Jets. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Jets take over first and 10. down Darnold nowhere to escape and he goes down a bad start there a big loss on their first play from scrimmage it's second down what we knew coming in is going to be a long afternoon if they weren't able to hold up against this pass rush huh what we didn't know was that protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage got after him right out of the game a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Quincy and Noon were the intended receiver, and it's third down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And, or who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now the first carry here for Philip Lindsay. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Throwing on second down. Murray. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jordan Phillips. Forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. Now that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Murray with a third and long. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Poole. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Watch that, watch that, eyes up, watch that. Watch 82, watch 82. He likes to sneak out late, watch 82. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. Chandler Jones, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. 
Darnold and the Jets come up third and long following the sack. Third and long, it's Darnold. Found his target, it's Anderson. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A loss of two there, second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second and 12, Darnold, and Anderson's got it. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Keeps it, and they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. They'll run to Marshawn Lynch, and only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. On second and nine, Darnold polluting the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Even though that one was incomplete, you could see the training that went into that play. He gets out of the pocket, ends up moving to his right. All he's trying to do, though, extend the life of the play. Keep it alive, hoping someone would pop free. Was able to take a pretty good shot with a deep ball, but incomplete. Now Darnold. And that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant you to flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And the 13-year man puts it through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive. They stiffened when they got close to the goal line. Made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. They'll start on the ground with Lindsey. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Second down, Murray sets to throw. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline. On first and ten, it's Lindsey. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports.
Now on first down, Drake again. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They got to feel pretty good about that one. Flush to his right. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. From the gun on third down, Murray. He completes it to Bryant. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. First catch for Bryant. He's got a first down. Play action. Now it's Murray. It's caught by Bryant. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, a 22. They'll run with Lindsey. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Philip Lindsey. His 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Jets take over first and 10. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And to be frank, they're just in a tough spot. It's only November, already eliminated from playoff contention. I know their fan base doesn't want to hear that, but that's the case. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. Oh, he's got some breathing room. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. Second down and goal. Murray. And that's going to be caught by Kirk for a Cardinals touchdown. Christian Kirk with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. And the pass complete to Anunwa. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. They'll give this to Bell running right. The tackle there by Patrick Peterson. 
One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On second and nine, Darnold is brought in by Jamison Crowder. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Hey, hey, Wood! On first down, it's Darwin. That one complete to Anderson. That throw good for four. It's second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 25 yard line. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now Lynch. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Jets on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Third and two, Darnold. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first, this one from 38. The kick by Crosby is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times, it's just in a simple adjustment in your game plan, finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways, but right now, you got to like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Murray again, second and 10. Flushed out right. Open man is Kirk, complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Yelp trip is here, baby. Yelp trip is here. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Play fake, Murray. Well, he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of... So a big call there that brings up fourth. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Now it's Crowder. 
Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58, 58, 58, Mike. Stop your whining. A final shot before the break. Darnold, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because... Oh, now Murray has it stripped and it's scooped up by the Jets. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. And this is where you need the quarterback to morph into being a running back. The ball can't be away from his body. It can't be loose. It can't be held like he's going to throw it. Tuck it away. Take care of it because he's going to run through a lot of traffic. And if he doesn't take care of it, we're going to see less design runs like that. Bravo! 24 is the mic. Get that quarterback! And all so following the fumble recovery, here's Darnold. This one caught by Crowder. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Ten yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. At this stage of the game, the run-pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. 58 for Mike, 58. 58 for Mike. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. 58, right on. Lady. Mike, 58, right there. A first down throw, Darnold. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. From the 21, it's second and 10. I'm coming for you. Now Bell. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. And that will be incomplete. 
And what with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the right hash, this from 33. And Crosby puts it through, and that'll get the lead down to five. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. And look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. That's how they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. And what a return. Great field position all the way out to the 48-yard line. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, right back to Lindsey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second down, it's Drake. Nine good yards here on the run, and now third down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Ready? On play action, it's Murray. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. That's going to be caught by Kirk for a Cardinals touchdown. Christian Kirk, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals push further out in front. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Darnold now to throw. Into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Watch the pass. 24 is the mic. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Hey, lady. A shotgun snap for Donald. Open man is Anderson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. On first and ten, Darnold into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Here's a give to Lindsey. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. On second down, it's Drake. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. The false start backs him up five. First and 15. Right back to Dre. And an alley to run. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. Now Murray off play action. Escaping the pressure right. Murray fighting. Lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. 24 is the mic. Cut, cut. 24 is the mic. Three bucks, three bucks. On second and 12, Darnold. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. An incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Darnold from the gun. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in it. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle. And frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play-action fade. Quick hitter here. It's complete. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. 
They'll run here with Lindsey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And defensive back Jamal Adams in on the stop. Another run by Lindsey. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing him further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. On fourth down, here's Zane Gonzalez for the Cardinal field goal. This from 54 yards away. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right. Not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team. But the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On the carry, it's Lynch. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Jets on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and four. From the 50, it's Darnold. And he's got a noon one. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Quick slant there gets him the first down, six yards on the play. On first down, Bell. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. It might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the 40 now on second down. Darnold, throw complete to Herndon. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Okay, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Lynch pushing, but he is not going to get there. They stop him short. He needed two. He got one. And that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. He's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. 
Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. You can't block me. You can't block me. They'll run on first down. It's Lindsey. Henry Anderson there on the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for the Cards, they keep on rolling 10-0 now to start the year, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they're going the wrong way as this will drop them to 3-7 and seven now of the year, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. That's a big number. Big numbers. Big 
you through my day to day. Work and pray, make Everybody. that play. Get some good at my place. There's some yeah. on the way. Cause my bros on the way. I got stones on my gold. Yeah. I got gold in my safe. I had a seven figure summer, so I'm playing. I'm so much better. Getting thick, so I put it on display. What is wrong? Yeah, I just ran a check up on myself. Some days I just have to check up on myself. I'm so icy, got that GG on my belt. They get love for my people in my hell. Lost a lot, but I came out with no L's. They get love for my people in my hell. Then I'm fine as hell from my head up to my nails. A man tripping cause I got another cell. He still buy me by cell. I could get it by myself. Here we go, here we go. I could get it by myself. Wanna be heard for your mom to your pop to the beat to the bird, my mind. Right right. Right. Like I'm barely saying this. 